following tonight. A story of anger, a family and a community demanding more be done. It has been nearly four months since the deadly police tasing of Johnny Hallman, a local pastor. The cries started back in August. I can't believe it, man. Y'all got my daddy on the ground. A family demanding justice after 62-year-old Holloman got into a crash. Atlanta police say Holloman refused the citation. Police ultimately used a taser on Holloman. He died at Grady Memorial. I heard my daddy begging for help. I heard my daddy telling y'all he couldn't breathe. The family is making their voices heard and demanding police release the full body cam. They got it back in September. <laughs> Senseless. <laughs> Over a ticket. <laughs> Over a ticket. You may recall this press conference here back in October. Atlanta Police Chief Darren Sherbaum announcing the firing of Officer Karan Kimbrough, saying the officer failed to have a supervisor on the scene before trying to arrest Holman. And then just a few days ago, this. Okay, well, I'm going to sign the ticket. I'm going to sign the ticket. I'm going to sign the ticket. Sign the ticket. Sign the ticket. How can I sign the ticket? You're acting crazy. I'm not doing nothing. Atlanta police released the full body cam video to the public. Holman's family now pushing for Kimbrough to be prosecuted. And in between of all that, it's been March after March after March. Communities rallying for what they say needs to be a real change. Protesters gathered once again tonight. Atlanta News First reporter Chelsea Bimefor live in downtown outside of the Fulton County Courthouse. And Chelsea, they're now demanding criminal charges. Yeah, Atlanta police officer Kyron Kimbrough was fired last month, but now these protesters want to see further action. Fulton County District Attorney Fonnie Willis is ultimately who will decide if he faces charges. But until then, these protesters say they will continue to be loud. Tuesday night, another protest in the tasing death of 62-year-old church deacon Johnny Holloman, the first since authorities released body camera video of the incident the day before Thanksgiving. It was so important for some of our local community organizers to keep this fight going and keep it steady so it would not sleep. Portia Miller helped organize the rally after seeing that footage herself. I cried and I did not get any sleep that night. Holloman's daughter and her attorney showed up Tuesday night too, thanking people for supporting her family. Thank y'all for coming out. Thank y'all for standing with us and rallying around us. Continue to pray for me and my family and continue to keep this fight for justice going. It actually made Thank me angry. Sure. Kevin Bolton says the body camera video compelled him to come to Tuesday's oh, protest and speak out against oh, police God. brutality. Instead of using my anger in a way that, uh, would get me in trouble. I'm going to use my anger in a way that's going to change some stuff. He says now he'll continue fighting peacefully for solutions, including better training for police officers. Yeah, if y'all ain't seen the video, go watch the video, and, and hopefully it sparks something in you that make you want to make a change in the world, man, because that's what it did to me. And the district attorney's office told us today they could not make any comment because this is an ongoing investigation. Protesters say they'll meet again here on Thursday at noon for another rally. Reporting live in downtown Atlanta, Chelsea Bime for Atlanta News First. Chelsea, thank you. And after Holloman's death, Atlanta police revised their ticket procedure. Officers are allowed to write refusal to sign in that signature line if the driver refuses to sign it and issue a copy of charges in lieu of a physical arrest. We have the full story of Johnny Holloman and the full police body cam arrest at AtlantaNewsFirst.com.